So hello everyone and welcome to this relatively short tutorial for playing GoldenEye 64 and Perfect Dark on your PC with mouse and keyboard. When I heard you could do this I got very excited, playing these old school games with modern control schemes, you could perhaps reinvigorate these classics. So the first thing to wrap your head around is emulation, using software to run old games with outdated hardware on your current more modern machine. It is often up to fans to develop the emulator and so emulation bugs and glitches may occur. I emulate Nintendo 64 quite a bit and my preferences is Project 64. However, I could not find how to use mouse and keyboard with Project 64, so instead we'll use an alternative N64 emulator called 1964. So this brings me to what you'll need. The first thing is 1964, but instead of downloading it from here, from this site, go here to this package by Joel Middendorf which has 1964 with all the plugins already installed to use the mouse and keyboard. If you want to know how to download it, just download the zip there. I've already downloaded it because it's already ready. So let's go to my file. That's the, that's the 1964 package. The only other thing you need is the ROMs, GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, which are both .n64. Uh, I can't tell you where to get those things because it's illegal. Sheesh. So I cannot tell you how to find these ROMs, you'll have to work it out for yourself. If you want a hint, my friend told me there was a search engine called Google. And if you type into the rectangle, Dear Google, how to download orange. And then you replace the word orange with what you are actually looking for, like apples. You'll find some links where you can download your bountiful fruits basket. So that's all that you need to download. Once you've got the ROMs, uh, right click on the uh, 1964 emulator, right click extract here, open 1964 and then you have to select the uh, where the ROMs are, which for me are in a folder called GoldenEye, there you go, it's all imported GoldenEye, mouse injector not supported, uh oh. So let's just have a look at the plugins, this should be already set up for you so you don't have to do anything. But this is what it should be. Jabbo's Direct 3D, that version, audio input, mass injector. Hello, future Alex here. So if you can hear these clicking sounds, that's me trying to have my mouse and keyboard inputs read by the emulator in order to skip the intro, but as you can tell, it's not working. So it turns out that I had the European ROM for Perfect Dark, uh, and I needed the USA one, which is why it doesn't work. I have since got the USA ROM for Perfect Dark and have played the beginning level and you can see footage of that later in the video. Also the reason why it's windowed is that 1964 does not really have a full screen that's working for me, uh, but more on this later on. Let me make it bigger. That's not full screen. I hope I notice that's not full screen. Okay. The only other thing that you need to do now is that to make the mouse and keyboard combination work, when you're in the game, press 4. And then now, you can probably hear my mouse moving across my desk. That's controlling. And then, if you want to be able to uh, unbind the mouse from the game, so that you can use the mouse in the real world, in your machine, then press 4 again, and then now I can move the mouse. Okay, so we'll go 4 again, just want to control the mouse in the game. Okay, we'll go damn. So this is the end of the tutorial part of the video. If that's all you needed to know, thanks for tuning in. Now, I'll be playing the first levels of GoldenEye while having a bit of a rant about whether you should play the games with the mouse and keyboard. So one thing you'll notice is I selected double O agent difficulty. One thing about mouse and keyboard is that it makes the games much easier. Enemies take about 4-5 to five seconds to react, which is fine for the controller, but mouse and keyboard reaction is too fast and precise for them to really compete. So I recommend playing with at least O or double O agent difficulty if you are using the mouse and keyboard.
Okay. Wait, he's still alive. Get out of here. Okay, let's get the. There's a sniper up here, isn't it? This uh, is going to sound terrible because it's, my mouse is just. Actually, what I'm going to do, press 4 again. Input settings. Can I increase the sensitivity? I can. I won't do mass attack, I should just... Okay, four. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the default mass sensitivity was a bit, um, bit low for my liking, but... You know, what can you do? Well, you can turn it up, that's what you can do. And that's what I did, so... There you go. I can't even see these guys, where are they? I'm gonna... Just run a bit further out. Take a, take a quick turn around here. So I don't know if you can make this shot in the um... Yeah, I can't make this shot with mouse and keyboard either. I'm actually being a bit more gun ho so... But look at how long they take to respond. So... With the mouse and keyboard, your reaction is much faster than the controller, obviously. And uh, as a result... They don't really stand a chance. I don't have any bullets for that. Okay, fine. Excuse me, I've got to look at my watch. Uh, all my quests again. Neutralize all alarms. Intercept data backup. Install COVID modem. Mo modem. I don't remember any of this stuff. Is that from behind? This is double O agent and you missed me. The thing is, I actually think this game does hold up. And the control scheme actually... I mean, the AI is probably the most limiting factor, but the game itself is like, still fun. Rotom goes. The hell is that? Look at this, these guys don't have a chance. Now because I'm on dub on double O agent difficulty, there's the um extra missions down the, down the well, down the, okay, you're dead. The music is sensational. So there you go. That's that's how easy it is. I don't know if I don't think I've actually lost any health yet. And that actually wasn't because I got shot, it because he exploded the box next to me. Well Yeah, I'm being very gun ho in this one. And it still hasn't uh, beat me in the butt yet. I think, so, I guess the moral of the story is the game is really tailored to control with the controller, which is more difficult, and so the game was kind of more forgiving because of that. There's the, there's the island that people care about, kind of an off-boundary secret. Is it a secret? No, it's just something you can see. This is a decent level, I like that. I mean, it's a great introductory level, for sure, but it's like... 
I always like levels where there's like, if you're on Age of Difficulty, I guess I talk about this in my GoldenEye video, if you're on Age of Difficulty, you don't even have to come down these parts, like it's not even on the map. And then the, the game, like the depth, the real depth of the level, it's like, what, what is even the purpose of the outside bit there? There is no, actually even on 007 difficulty, there is no purpose to the outside bit, it's just cool geometry. And that in itself is good enough, you know what I mean? But it's there, it's, I don't know how to describe it. Die. Die. Good thing he didn't hear the door open. Destroyed that one. Is that one at the beginning? Look at how low poly all, this all looks. But at the time it looked brilliant, I remember. Okay, let's work out. Okay, it's slowing down a bit. So that's one of my issues with with this, is that 1964, the performance, not very good. Project 64, fine, I've not had issues. Performance, the sort of limited uh, control options, the limited display options, I've got no problems full screen in Project 64, for instance. Uh, whereas this, I'm stuck with, with this. Uh, but I must say, it is it is fun to play. Silly me. Let's go jump off a pier. We. So, spoiler alert. Just because I made a tutorial on it, does that mean you should play GoldenEye with a mouse and keyboard? Absolutely not. Firstly, the 1964 emulator sucks shit, and this specific version runs like a person with no legs. On top of that, the save and load state function does not work, that all emulators should have functional, so you can't stop midway through a level and pick it up later, as the save state is corrupt or whatever. More than that, the game becomes really easy. It wasn't designed for this control scheme in mind. It's gimmicky and definitely a nice experience to play a classic game with more modern control scheme, but I think the best way to play GoldenEye is with a controller. Pick up one of these, preferably one in a better condition than this, and play it on the Project 64. Save states don't work. A full screen doesn't work. Okay, fine. Perfect Dark, the other game it should work for. For some reason, playable, but mouse injectors not supported. So it doesn't actually work for Perfect Dark. So great. Anyway, now's the time for audience participation. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to follow this tutorial and try to play GoldenEye on the mouse and keyboard. Did you find the game fun with the new control scheme? Did you find the 1964 emulator shittier than the plumbing at an irritable bowel syndrome clinic? Be sure to comment below with your experience, and to avoid confirmation bias, if you couldn't be asked to do the tutorial, please comment couldn't be asked below so I can do proper science. Thank you and good luck with your mission.